Hey everyone, so here's part two of a three-part series. We're going to take a look at CCTV lenses on a micro four-thirds body and see how they work together. The second lens we'll be taking a look at is the Fotasi M3517 CCTV lens. It's a bit larger than the 25mm, but it's still fairly small compared to other lenses out there. It is advertised as a 35mm f1.4 to f16. It's a C-mount lens and the average price does go for around $20 to $40. To mount this lens onto a micro four thirds body, you still need to use an adapter. The adapter was included with mine, and if yours doesn't come with one, you can get one for about $10 to $20. More information on these items will be in the description. First, we'll see how this lens compares to the 12 to 60 millimeter kit lens from the Panasonic G85. I've set the length on the kit lens to about 35 millimeters to match the CCTV lens. The camera is at about four feet from the shelf, and I did use a Plimsoll line as a marker to measure it from there to the edge of the shelf. Afterwards, we'll take a look at some real-world samples. We took another trip up to Santa Fe, New Mexico. This video is also shot on the Panasonic G85 at 4K resolution, 24 frames a second, and the shutter is at 50. The profile we're using is Cine D. All shots are handheld and stabilized using the in-body stabilization. In conclusion, this lens performs better than the 25mm. Now even though your field of view is not as wide, you do gain the benefits of less distortion around the image. There's also a larger area which is a lot sharper than the 25mm, and also at the lowest stop, you still get a swirl effect but it's not as severe as the 25mm. It's a, it's a lot nicer. The physical size isn't larger by much. The lens does feel pretty sturdy with its metal body construction. The focus and aperture rings aren't as tight as the 25mm, but they're not that loose either. They're, they're just right. The lens flare is still visible, which is a plus for some, but it could be a minus for others. Now this leads to whether there's a filter at the end of the lens. There is a 35mm thread at the end of the lens, and I did buy a 37mm step up ring so I can attach a filter of that size. And if you want, you can even step up from there and buy a larger step up ring after that and mount your existing filters from other lenses. Now it is a full manual lens, so there's no image stabilization or autofocus. 
for stability, use your in-body stabilization if your camera does have it, or you'll need to use a stabilizer or a tripod. The final video will be about the 50mm lens, and I do hope to have that up in the next few weeks. In the meantime, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great day.